Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Today we're going to be talking Hermes, Birkins, and uh, Kanye West. 10 Birkins for Kanye, more or less. Subscribe to my channel first, uh, push the join button next to the subscription button, become a member today, gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon, Super Jacob all spelled together for extra perks there as well. Thank you to my patrons and members who have already pledged. This video is being filmed live in front of a virtual audience. I live stream every Saturday. You're all welcome. More than welcome to join into the chats and the conversation. Hello to all my co-viewers. So we're going to be talking Kanye West. Now he, uh, since uh, the divorce uh, has been going on between Kim Kardashian, or as some of my friends call her, Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Kim Kardashian and Ye, 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 all around the block. Um, he's now dating some other chick, which she seems so disposable to me that I just, I, I don't even know her name. So anyway, um, I, so it's her birthday. He kind of really, I think, I don't know. My personal humble alleged opinion is that he is kind of showing off to Kim, desperately showing off to Kim how happy he is without her. So he has to kind of let everybody, the whole wide world, photograph him with his tongue down her throat, you know, doing all kind of, you know, all the, you know all the nasty stuff in public. So anyway, but we're talking Hermes Birkins here and Kanye West, right? 10 Birkins for Kanye. I, it's a biblical reference. Why did I call it 10 Birkins for Kanye? So I'll tell you in a second. Uh, he um, gifted her for her 32nd, 35th, she's in her 30s, birthday, a Birkin. But guess what? All of her girl posse, all of the girlfriends that were also invited to this to her birthday party, also they were gifted a Birkin. So Kanye kind of gifted Birkin, and you get a Birkin, and you get a Birkin, and you, you know. So let me show you a couple of pictures. Um, there you go. This is like somebody, somebody from Instagram. Somebody posted this to Instagram. That's her next to him. She's the one. Uh, oh God, it's always so hard. Okay. So that's Kanye, right? That's 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 the the chick he's, you know, with at the moment. So not memorable. I'm sorry, girl. Hey, you maybe you're great in you know some departments, but whatever. And look, like she has a Birkin, and the other chicks, like everybody's like posing with their Birkin, and he's showing off that they all got a. Bir I wonder if they're authentic. Anyway, let me show you the next picture. You know, as he's moving around with them. But this is so hilarious, you guys. Okay. As she is living her life. She's like, I finally made it. I'm dating Kanye. You know what I mean? <laughs> she going she to get that, you know. Okay. And then the next one, um, that's it. Or is there one more? I think there might be one Mo. No, that's it. Okay. So anyway, super funny. There, There's more pictures. But, you know, you can go check them out yourself. But this is the, the 10 bags for, you know, the Kanye... Jesus, ye Jesus, you know, so the, the, the parable of the ten virgins. <laughs> this is what I was thinking. Was his thought of the ten Birkins, we don't know if they're ten or less or more, but like creating a, a biblical moment, because, you know, he loves to create a biblical moment. And I, and I couldn't help but wonder, uh, was Kanye's Birkin a biblical moment. And just like that, Kanye turned the Birkins into wine and water. So uh, this is the thing, the parable of the 10 virgins, also known as the parable of the wise and foolish virgins, or the parable of the 10 bridesmaids. Now, this listen to this. This is one of the parables of Jesus, according to Matthew 25, 113. 10 virgins await a bridegroom. Actually, let me read you the narrative. The Gospel of Matthew. <clears throat> In the parable of the ten virgins, Jesus tells a story about a party of virgins, perhaps bridesmaids or torchbearers for a procession, chosen to participate in a wedding. Each of the ten virgins is carrying a lamp or torch as they await the coming of the bridegroom, which they expect at some time during the night. Five of the virgins are wise and have brought oil for their lamps. 
Five are foolish and have only brought their lamps. But no oil. Uh, at midnight, all the virgins hear the call to come out to meet the bridegroom. Realizing their lamps have gone out, the foolish virgins ask the wise ones for oil. <laughs> you guys, you can't make this stuff up. But they refuse, saying that there will certainly not be enough for them to share. While the foolish virgins are away trying to get more oil, the bridegroom arrives. The wise virgins then accompany him to the celebration. The others arrive too late and are excluded. So the actual, uh, from the World English Bible, the quote is, Then the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. Those who were foolish, when they took their lamps, took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. Now, while the bridegroom delayed, they all slumbered and slept. But at midnight there was a cry, Behold, the bridegroom is coming! Come out to meet him! Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. The foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, What if there isn't enough for us and you? That's such a Karen moment. You go rather to those who sell and buy for yourselves. While they went away to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast. And the door was shut. Afterward, the other virgins also came, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. Oh, that's a Blanche Devereux moment. Oh, load, load, open to us. But he answered, Most certainly, I tell you, I don't know you. Watch, therefore, for you don't know the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. Cha, let me tell you. The parable has a clear eschatological theme, meaning be prepared for the Day of Judgment. It was one of the most popular parables in the Middle Ages and had influence on Gothic art, sculpture, and the architecture of German and French cathedrals. Isn't that something? How we managed... This is 2022, y'all. We turned a over-consuming Birkin Kanye West moment into a biblical moment. Only in the fashion bunker. <laughs> okay, only... Only in the fashion bunker. Only in the fashion bunker. <laughs> Get your oil. Get your oil. There you go. The CC spy never leaves her house without her oil. But listen. This is the thing. Bottom line. We're so over this. Because, look. We think Kanye can definitely afford... 10 Birkins, or how many, however many he got them. If they're authentic Birkins, and he got them at Hermes, well, it just furthermore proves the point that we already know that these Birkins, you know, they already, they always have them in the back. They always have a lot of these things, which just is a not yet another instance where we can debunk this whole crap about oh they're not available they're very rare you got to go on a journey you got to have a purchase history to be able to be offered to purchase one of these it's all a scam allegedly they have enough of these bags you just got to be the right person so it's getting really tired you know people are done with the journey um you know, people are done with the journey pushers, with all those people that unbox their bags online on YouTube and they say, you know, 
and they're enabling this whole concept of, you know, you have to have a purchase history. You know, all of these YouTubers that are telling you, hey, keep buying all the crap that you don't want at Hermes because one day you, you will get offered a bag. And all these people making these videos about, well, what's the ratio of how much you spent before you actually got offered to purchase the bag? Like, it, it, we're tired of it. And shout out to uh, the purse uh, forum. The purse forums, um, because um, I read it on the purse forums. I actually read about this on the purse forums. People are super tired. They're over it. <laughs> the people on the purse forums are like, they're so over this. these YouTubers doing the pushing of the journey. Like, did, dud, done with that. Uh, the Hermes journey for a Birkin. Um Thank you, Purse uh, Forums, also, uh, for being kind of really kind to me lately. That's really sweet of you. Thank you. It does not go unnoticed. Uh, Mike Yoto says, uh, the stylist already gave an interview how he sourced them from different states. <laughs> oh, Mikey, he did, huh? <laughs> Why? <laughs> because he was getting, like, people were attacking, like, oh, so Kanye gets to buy whatever he wants, but, like... Nobody else does. And then the stylist is like, no, 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 no. We had to really fight to get these Birkins. We had to source them from different states. Okay, fine. Because he wanted specific colorways that he also got. So this Sumpa Lumpa had to source it from different states. Those different states still gave him the Birkins. So different states have them. Sweet Thing says, different states in China, LOL. Oh my God, the shade. The biblical shade of it all. Kanye and Madonna, says Anonymous Kicker. What about Kanye and Madonna? Oh, you know what? I think they could be a good couple, Kanye and Madonna. That's not a bad combo. Um, that's not a bad combo. Yeah, 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 Jesus. They did work together several times. They made a couple of tracks together. Kanye gave her some vo uh, vocals, vocals, darling. Vo he gave her vocal. <laughs> Kanye doesn't oil up. His sugar is raw. Ask Madonna. Oh, my God. Sticky and sweet, baby. Yeah, very much so. Gwen says, just imagine Kanye saying, I want a Birkin 25. And the stylist is like, okay, I got an ostrich one. Kanye says, okay, now get me four more and not ostrich for her friends. Yeah, I know. And the funniest thing is that ostrich is so ugly. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, he gave her the ugliest one of the batch. What a batch. <laughs> what a batch. I was like, and I was literally also thinking the same, like, oh, no, he gave her the ostrich. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> she got the ugly Birkin. She got the pimply one. My journey was going to the kitchen for dinosaur-shaped candies. Is that an even Oh, that's a good journey. That's a journey I condone. Didn't the diamond industry use the same strategy? Um, with the beers, they started this whole concept of diamonds being so precious and rare. No, it's a different strategy because with the diamonds, you actually, they're readily available to purchase. They're just really expensive. Hermes is making the Birkins seem like they're not available for purchase, even though they are very expensive. Pardon me, Wendy Williams moment. Um, Take us to church, says Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody stand up. Let's do a gospel together. That's why I never leave the house. I read that one already. I never leave CC Spike. But it's a good one. Let's read it again. I never leave the house without my oil. Uh, Enigma should be playing in the background, says Lala. Oh my God. <laughs> Enigma. Oh my God. <laughs> it's the opposite of luxury, says Asia. It's vulgarity. Ah, that's a nice little Chanel quote. Yes, Coco Chanel said it best. The opposite of luxury is not poverty. The opposite of luxury is vulgarity. Um, Jesus says, kiss it better, make it wetter. Don't it taste like holy water? Oh, there you go. Madonna, Madonna quotes, rain in on us, like rain. Another Madonna song. Oh, my God. A Madonna song to quote a Madonna song, quoting a Madonna song. It's a, it's a bop. It's a bop. Kanye should do a bag, the wind test, he says. I, he did. He designed several bags uh, in his Yeezy collection, actually. There are several Kanye West-designed bags out there. You know, I have, a, I have a Kanye West backpack myself, a Yeezy backpack, when he did his one and only clothing collection with Adidas. 
And after that one collection, they probably said like, you know what, Kanye, we good. We good. We could, we could still do the shoes, but like, we good with the clothes. We good. Uh, I do have a bag, Rosha. Yes. Tyler says, the ostrich Birkin is by far the worst exotic and Hermes knows it, which is why it doesn't have a unique stamp like nearly all other, all their other exotics. LOL. I didn't know that it doesn't have a stamp. <laughs> It's so funny. Oh, my God. No, you know what I'm thinking, Tyler? Maybe he, his stylist was like uh, to Hermes, like, I'm buying a bag for Kanye West. So I... And then and then Hermes is like, oh, okay. Who, who's that? <laughs> and he's like, oh. No, I mean, probably they knew who he was. But then he's like, I want a very... Uh, no, no, wait, no. He's not, he's not French. They're French. He's like, I want a very exotic bag. And then Hermes thought, let's give him the one nobody wants. Let's sell him the ugly ass ostrich that nobody wants. It's been sitting in the back for years now. So like, yeah, we have an exclusive uh, exotic uh, for you, Mr. Uh, stylist of uh, Kanye West. Uh, um, it's an exotic uh, with uh, pimples. Eh? Oh, he's like, oh, fabulous. Haven't seen those. <laughs> they, they literally got rid of the ugliest Birkin they could and they sold it as a special exotic. Yeezy is still around, Tyler. I mean, not his own brand, but the shoes. <laughs> uh, his he, he renamed his brand something else, I guess. I mean, it's still Yeezy, but... I know full well they uh, aren't listening to Kanye West over at Hermes headquarters. LOL, says Tyler. Oh my God, the shade. Um, Mr. Phil Fabio says, I love ostrich. It's supposedly extremely durable. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. I ordered an ostrich uh, um, Dior saddlebag vintage before Maria Grazia Curie came back. Okay, we're, you know, remember when I made that video on the saddlebag? when nobody gave a flying F about it before Dior brought it back. And I said, you guys, they cost a buck and a quarter. Get them now. Um, that's when I ordered an ostrich one as well as a black one. The ostrich one was terrible, terrible, terrible condition, terrible consistency, terrible to the touch. I sent it back. I sent it back. It was awful. It was awful. Uh, awful. Uh, Tyler says, it's not that I don't like exotic, but it just is the most mundane out of the exotic lineup. <laughs> Maybe, you know, ostrich leather looks like chicken pox, says Jesus. Uh, Melanie says, loving your accent, Jacob. Thank you, Melanie. <laughs> it looks like goosebumps. Poor girl will have to ask one of her friends to swap bags with her. <laughs> Could you imagine? She's like, hey, it's my party and I'll take the Birkin I want to. <laughs> and they're like, no. No, hold on, girl. It's about it's my party, and I'll cry if I want to. She's like, yeah, and I'm crying because all y'all bitches got the cool Birkins. It's my birthday. I have to go to bed with him. I want to get the cool Birkin. Why did I get the the ostrich pimply one? I want the other one that you got. And she's like, oh hell no, I'm not gonna give you my. Are you kidding me? Sorry, girl. Sorry, girl. He gave me this one. Maybe he just likes me a little bit more than he likes you. <laughs> and then I could see them like all the chicks then fighting mud wrestling for the Birkins. Like who gets the best Birkin that night? Literally chicken skin says Jesus. Well, yeah, an ostrich is a, is a bird. Big bird skin. No. Oh my God. Jane Davenport. They literally, they literally skinned big bird to give her a Birkin. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. And let's connect it to the biblical story of the ten virgins. Now, let's call them bridesmaids because <laughs> I, do, I, do, I wouldn't go so far to call them virgins. Let's call them bridesmaids because, you know, the state of affairs in that bar where they were photographed, let's just say... <laughs> Let's just say uh, they should try making an ostrich bag with the feathers still attached. Cluck, cluck, chickadees, says Jack. Oh, my God, you guys. Poor Big Bird, says Melanie. We're all mourning for Big Bird. Don't you worry, guys. Big Bird is still well and, and alive. Uh, <laughs> Asia's like, I doubt. Well, th that's that was the implication. Uh, that's what we were kind of hinting at, allegedly hinting at. Um, but you said it. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. How about an emu Birkin, girl? It's the same thing. 
<laughs> anyway. Um, anyway, uh, Tyler says, okay, but a Birkin with the feathers kind of sounds cute AF. Oh, with the feathers still attached. Only some of the feathers were de-plucked from the bird and some are still left on it. Girl, that looks sick. Sick, but in an interesting way. Interesting way. It, hinting at the alleged hint. Yes, of course. You know, I mean, you know, let's just call it. Oh, no, <laughs> let's just say 10 chicks were at a venue with Kanye. Some were oiled up. Some were not oiled up. Some got ugly Birkins. Some got okay-ish Birkins. But all of them seem like tools to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, never forget to never give up on that shady love. Love you all. Bye. Oh, subscribe to my channel and, you know, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Huh? Give us some engagement. Bye.